creating a labor party seems to be of, of vital importance in the United States. How can the growth of the labor movement be translated into the creation of such a party? Excellent question. Hmm. Go ahead, John. Take it. Want me to take it? Well, you take it. Well, I think it's really, it's not an abstract question for working class people. Right now, our interests are subordinated to uh, bourgeois political parties and the uh, trade union bureaucracy channels, uh, channels us into, uh, you know, into the, the arms of the Democratic Party and even sometimes with my union, the Republican Party, um, you know, calling for us to vote for these, um, these candidates uh, <clears throat> to gain support, gain access, that's the big one. Um, and sometimes it, we, we actually are asked to vote against our class interests. It's not an abstract question for us. We see attacks against working class people's uh, living standards, and it's even more out in the open now with this uh, COVID-19 COVID uh, crisis. The fact is that working class people are going to get hammered, I think, coming out of this. Uh, the, the order to reopen uh, meatpacking plants, you know, safety be damned, uh, that's and that's an area where you know we see you know the the republicans and to some degree the democrats are going to look the other way i think because you know they want to get the economy moving because they serve the interests of wall street not the interests of working class people and this is in essence why working class people need a party of our own now you know, i know some folks will say you know like well you know if you form a labor party it's going to be like the one in england or you know, it's going to be like a reformist party. Um, that's not actually, I think, written in stone. You know, the fact is that we call for a labor party or a workers party. The very process through which that break with the Democratic Party happens, you know, will, I think, have a ra radicalizing effect. It's one of the main tasks of working class people in this country is to achieve our political independence from the bourgeoisie. And the only way we can do that is by forming our own party. Ever since I was in the, I, I joined the, uh, the socialist movement. Uh, from the very first day, I was, I was told, or it, it, I was schooled, let's put it that way, I was schooled, that what we're after is a labor party based on the trade unions. And that made sense to me. Now, as that was, of course, in the, in, in the very early 70s. Ever since then, the number of union members have shrunk. And so people would say, well, how can you have a labor movement based, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the good of having a labor party based on the trade unions if there's, quote unquote, no trade unions anymore? There's so few, there's so, so few members anymore. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't change the equation that a labor party that is based on the unions is the best way to go because the unions are even even as 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 weakened as they have been are still a very powerful force and if the labor movement is expanding in these times it can only help it can only get better uh so that's that that, that would be my uh my answer to that yeah uh, incorrect and i would add that um Anyone who thinks that you know it's like the that the unions are the weak weak partner in this, but really it's, it's it gets the it's gets the cart before the horse because the the unions really provide the the, uh, the muscle for electoral campaigns. The union get out the vote effort on on a presidential election day is massive. The Democrats couldn't get where they are without the unions and. Why don't we use those massive resources in our own interests? That's it never made sense to me. Well, anyway, I want to thank everybody. I don't think we have any more questions. I want to thank everybody. Um, Socialist Resurgence is a revolutionary socialist organization. I encourage folks to check out our website, socialistresurgence.org. 
And uh, if you like our uh, like what we have to say, uh, consider getting in touch and um, meeting with one of our organizers. We're uh, in spite of the Corona crisis, we're, we're doing what we can to build our organization because we have to prepare for the struggles to come. All right, comrades, thank you very much and good night.